got that brand new Galaxy Z Fold 3, $1,800, 16 gigs of RAM, maybe more powerful than your desktop PC. And you want to know, can you turn this phone into a true desktop workstation? Let's check it out. I'm Bertrand the Tech Man, and every week I produce tech videos, I give tips, and I do reviews, showing you how to use tech to make your life just a little easier. Now, if you're new to my channel, help a tech brother out. Hit that doggone subscribe button down below and give me a like, please. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers so I can support this channel. Now, in this video, we're going to look at some accessories that you will need in order to turn this into that. Let's get busy. Now, in order to turn this into a desktop workstation, uh, there are basically five things you, that you're going to need. You're going to need, of course, a monitor or a TV. You're going to need your, uh, G, your, your Galaxy Z Fold 3. You're going to need a hub with multiple ports on it. You're going to need a mouse and you're going to need a keyboard. So let's start with the monitor. Now, a link will be in the description for all of these items below. Now, let's start with the monitor that, that I use. It is a Acer Nitro VG240Y. It is 23.8 inches. It has full HD. Uh, it's 1920 by 1080. Has 144 hertz refresh rate. Basically, it is a gaming monitor. Two HDMI ports on it and one uh, display port. Now, the HDMI ports are important because that's what you're going to use to connect uh, to your uh, phone itself. So, the next item that you're going to need would be the port. Now, the one that I use, DocTech, uh, DocTech USB Hub 7-in-1. First of all, it's 4K capable at 60 hertz. Uh, it has seven ports on it, one gigabyte Ethernet port, and it also has 100 watts charge or pass through, which means you're able to not only uh, use this uh, to connect via the USB but uh, the USB C port, but you can also uh, charge your phone while using it as well. And that's important, especially if you're going to use it for long periods of time. Now on this port itself, the DocTech, you have a USB type C uh, input, output. You can use this to charge as well. You have uh, two USB uh, 3.0 uh, ports. You have a micro SD slot and you also have a SD slot and an HDMI uh, output and the ethernet as well. So it's, it's very good, it's very firm. This is a good company. I've always used their products, so you need this as well. So you take this basically, and you're going to hook it up like so. All right. The next thing you're going to need is a mouse. Now the mouse that I use is the M705 and it's just a standard mouse. I think this one costs about $29, but it's optical. I think the battery on it lasts for about, for about 18 months. I haven't changed this battery in at least a year. Uh, it's made by Logitech, it's optical. And it has, a, of course, the, the, the uh, scroll thing on it, which I like that is very nice. And it's easy to use and maneuver. The, the last thing you're going to need is the keyboard. The keyboard that I'm using here is the Logitech K400. 
Media comes with a nice trackpad that works pretty good as well. And it is also made by Logitech. Now, it works very well with the Logitech mouth. So you take, you, you got your keyboard, you got your mouse, you got your keyboard, and you got your hub and your monitor. So you take your USB-C dongles, and you connect them, and you connect both of those. Now everything is connected that way. Now the next thing you need to do is very simple. You take this, and watch how easy this works. You put it in. And boom shakalaka, you are in there. You now have a full-fledged desktop system. Uh, on this, you can use it just as you would a regular desktop. You notice that you have your icons on the front and you got your bar down here at the bottom, just like a regular desktop. And to show you how and to show you some things that you can do on it, let's open up a program. Let's open up a last, my last project. Open it full screen. And you see, you can use it just like you would a regular PC. Now, if you want it to be able to watch a movie or, or some YouTube on here, you can do that as well. Go up here and search. YouTube, click on it. All right, let's go to one of my old videos. Boom shakalaka, play it, turn the sound up. Okay, so you see you got a full-fledged PC, full-fledged PC experience using these accessories. You could use a stand. I have this in Boku. I guess that's the way you pronounce it, but it's a very nice stand and I use it to basically monitor. Of course, we know that the, the, the Galaxy Z Fold 3 basically has its own stand, but if you wanted something else different, you want to kind of use this in this format, then there you go, stand as well. So a link for all of these things will be in the description below. Now I'm going to make a full-fledged video in the very near future showing you how you can use Samsung DeX to its fullest capacity. Now, if you found value in this quick uh, review of these accessories, uh, give me a like, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell to see my next video when it drops, share, and comment. Tell me, now that you have this $1,800 phone, do you intend on using it as a desktop PC as well? And will you hook it up to a monitor or will you hook it up to your regular TV? Let me know in the comment section. I am Bertrand Tech Man. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video. And remember, before you buy anything, always first, check it out. Be strong. Be strong.